And this, in fact, is news about a money laundering probe against Chinese mobile firm. We'll get more details. The remand note of which, in fact, has now been accessed by us here at CNN News 18. The investigation has gone on to reveal that Chinese entities completely controlled Indian firms and the same was concealed from authorities. Many Chinese officials of the firm, in fact, worked without proper visa. Now, these Chinese officials, in fact, visited sensitive parts of India like Jammu and Kashmir and even Ladakh and what is even more shocking is that there the forged documents were also used to open bank accounts especially in Jammu and Kashmir. So that remand note that has now in fact been accessed by our legal correspondent Ananya Bhatnagar, we're going to put that out for our viewers as well. This is in the backdrop of a money laundering probe against a Chinese mobile firm. Let's also now bring in our legal correspondent Ananya Bhatnagar. Ananya, you've accessed the remand note that we're putting out for our viewers as well. Break down the details in terms of what the investigation has revealed so far. Well, definitely, this is an uh, investigation that is being uh, going on on a Chinese mobile firm, a major Chinese mobile firm, in fact, which is um, where whose phones are being used by yeah. many in the country. But what has come to light is very, very shocking that this Chinese uh, entity A entered into India by using Indian companies. There were uh, deals made, and these Indian companies were directly were in Chinese control, even when. The FDI in 2014 and 15 did not allow a hundred percent Chinese, uh, you know, uh, into any kind of a foreign direct uh, mm. uh, intervention into uh, this particular brand of market. Now, what has also come to light and a very very shocking revelation is that you know the uh, Chinese officials who were at, at least 30 of them who were in fact Chinese uh, nationals were in India had forged documents and in fact their visas were not also proper but were working in in the country and in fact they had visited. Uh, places like Jammu and Kashmir, like sensitive areas like Jammu and Kashmir and uh, Ladakh and in fact not only that, not only did they visit that particular place but their forged documents were used to open bank accounts in the state of Jammu and Kashmir is what has been revealed by the uh, interrogation, by the investigation of the yeah. Enforcement Directorate. Remember that four people including a Chinese official was arrested by the Enforcement Directorate yesterday. They were produced before the court. Three days of police custody remand was also granted by the court of law and uh, now the investigation in this matter is going on now. Remember that this is a very, very major uh, Chinese brand, a uh, Chinese yeah. mobile brand, a very famous one as well, uh, which uh, was being operated through China and uh, by the way of Indian companies until 2021 when uh, full 100% FDI was actually allowed in the country. And in fact, the Chinese control of these Indian uh, you know, firms was also being hidden by uh, the, from the Indian authorities, the, okay. the forged documents were being used and the Indian authorities were not informed. Requisite permissions which are required during FDI yeah. uh, were also not sought is what the charge of the Enforcement Directorate mm. was. The Enforcement Directorate says it is a criminal conspiracy that has led to this whole ruckus that had happened and crores of rupees, at yeah. least 28 crore uh, rupees of revenue was generated, 28 uh, 280 crores was also a part of one of the bank accounts that was okay. there and this is the exact charge of the enforcement directed how much of it does it play up what would be the future investigations would reveal whether sure. these uh, uh, connections to the JNK would reveal something more as well is something that we'll have to wait and watch for but this is what the investigation of the enforcement directorate has actually revealed and the remand note goes on to say this. And then as you were pointing out a short while ago that the investigation has gone on to reveal that these officials not only visited these sensitive areas which included Ladakh and Jammu and Kashmir but they also forged documents. So we want to understand do we know the time period in which they made these visits to Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh? How many such visits were made? Also, when they forged these documents, what were the purposes of forging these documents? Where all were they used? Well, as per the initial investigation that has been carried out by the enforcement directorate, this was uh, for you know uh, for, for the for the companies that were, these Indian companies that were made for uh, to be controlled and for the Chinese mm. money to come in uh, and the Chinese to get uh, you know a, a, a business market here. These uh, companies were being used through these bank accounts. These Chinese officials had their bank accounts here, is what has been told. And these forged documents were actually used to make uh, these bank accounts, to mm. get these bank accounts open, is what has been said. Though the period of these people visiting Jammu and Kashmir or Ladakh have okay. not been clarified by the enforcement directorate, that might be a part of the investigation that the ED would be looking into. And remember sure. that this is a case that is particularly not only of financial fraud, but it can lead to further implications 
because we've seen that the ED has said that, you know, they were visiting places like uh, Jammu and Kashmir and Leh and Ladakh, which are sensitive parts True. as in stated in the ED's remand note. So, whether would, would it turn to an anti-national angle, whether mm. would it go towards the uh, the angle where, you know, a conspiracy could be turned out in that uh, aspect okay. also, that is something that we'll have to, uh, okay. uh, you know, So Ananya is saying only initial details that are now coming we'll to light to as part of this investigation, more details will come to light in due course as well. Ananya, we will have to leave that conversation there. Thanks a lot for getting us all those details. We do have to shift our focus to some other breaking developments coming up.